physics course 1 for class 11 and it covers the entire book 1 of NCR. Physics is everywhere. You've been doing science till now and now you go forth to do more detailed work of the basic concepts that are there in physics. Importantly, you will be dealing with a lot of things that are happening around you. You may not look at it like that because the words that we are going to now learn are going to be specifically designed and say things about the different things which you've already been observing. For example, motion. You would be talking about motion by giving it words like distance, travel, displacement, etc. These should not be overbearing for you because you will go forth with it with the basic principle and the simplest ideas to extend it to the higher level. A team of teachers and who have been teaching for a long time and feedback from students as to what they don't really understand is incorporated in the course. So the video part of it is going to contain certain lectures, certain methodology of telling you in a lecture which will make this very easy for you to understand. Our trial has also been to make the e-content very friendly. So a lot of real life pictures, real life examples, you will come across them and you will see that not lowering the level of the syllabus, we have been able to touch upon areas which sometimes are difficult to understand. Most of the part will have new mathematics. You will come across something like vector algebra. You've never learnt it before. You will come across integration and differentiation. You will be talking about logarithms. These are new mathematical operations, but you don't worry about that. We've taken a lot of care that we first describe why we are using that mathematical operator and teach you about it or talk about it in general and then make you use it in any simple problem. As you see this connection, you will not find this math overbearing. You will not say numericals are the toughest thing in physics because they are not. They make the physics more exciting. For example, if you were to say a car is traveling at x kilometers an hour and that makes no sense because if you said the car is traveling at 60 kilometers an hour, then you kind of see it. So it is in relation to that, we want to tell you that the numericals that are attached with physics courses are basically to make a better clarity for you. So the team of teachers and uh, my co-PI, uh, Dr. Rashna Garg, would be happy to take you through the course and will always be there for you whenever you wish to ask anything and uh, hope it is a lot more fun and hope it is easy for you to go through the course of uh, class 11. So good luck with doing good physics, fun physics and taking it on to do more work wherever you need.